We're going to look at how to make a CD using a standalone CD recorder as opposed to using your computer to burn a CD, which everybody knows how to do. But today we're going to demonstrate a Philips CDR audio CD recorder. It is a CDR 775 audio CD recorder. It has the capability of recording live or recording from um, analog or digital sources has the inputs on the back for both analog and digital inputs. So first thing we need to do is in one of the drawers that it has, and you'll notice it has two drawers, so this particular unit can actually dub CDs using these two drawers. But for demonstration today, we're just going to record from an analog cassette just for fun. But what you're going to need is an actual audio CD or a music CDR like this one. This one's a CDR music CD from Maxell. So we're going to put that into the left tray and close the tray up. And we'll look over here in the dial and you'll notice that it's going to initialize the disc. Once it realizes it's an audio mm -hmm. CD, Okay, so it shows that it's initializing. In the meantime, you want to get to uh, your source material, and we are going to use uh, the CTS707 cassette player recorder made by Pioneer. And I've got a song queued up on there, ready to go. All right, and once it's done initializing, you'll see on the menu here uh, that it's uh, ready to go, just by the zeros there. All right, so we're gonna go over to these buttons on this side, and we want to do a record type. So we're gonna press that until it shows. Record external manual. Okay, and then it says press record. So we're gonna go over here and press record and it immediately will start turning numbers. And then down here, we're gonna hit play on our tape deck. And you'll see the uh, level here start to uh, move. Here's where you're gonna change your volume if you wanna adjust the volume of the input on this dial. Okay, let's say that we have reached the end of our disc. We've decided we don't want to record anymore. We're going to come over here and hit record again. Oh, wait, do we hit stop? Okay, we're going to hit stop. All right, and then you'll see on the screen it'll say update. Now, this CDR775 has the capability to just continue to add tracks, but let's say we're done. We don't want to add any more tracks. That's the only track we wanted. All right. So all we have to do is go over here and hit the finalize button. And then it tells us we need to press record in order to finalize. And it's going to go ahead and write the table of contents to the disk. You might want to check out one of my other videos on YouTube. I uh, go through and show you how to use this Optimus digital compact cassette recorder. I show you how I uh, was able to restore it to working condition by replacing a bunch of uh, little capacitors on the inside. So uh, that works uh, very well now. In fact here I'll just power it on for you. You can see it. And if you have a, a particular tape that's a pre-recorded tape, it does that little sequence there where it says check tape. So, very cool tape deck. Although, like I said, in this case, I used my uh, Pioneer CTS707. 
Now the other thing that I didn't go over with you was connections to the uh, CD recorder up there. And I'm using this old school VSX 5900S receiver. So essentially I've got all my inputs and outputs running into this machine, and, or to, to this uh, receiver, and then I've marked the buttons as to what they all do. So essentially all you have to do to record once you have your inputs and outputs connected to a receiver is you just press the source material, which in our case was the cassette, CAS, and start, you know, hit your play button and you can record. So in order to play back, what we're going to have to do is hit the CDR button. Okay. And let's see, how are we? We're about 15 seconds away from being able to play back our recorded disc and see how it did. This is a really nice machine. It has worked very well. It's a little slow recording uh, or making dubs of other audio CDs, but it will do it. Okay, so there we are. We're all done. Now we can go here and hit play and listen to what our uh, disc sounds like. Do 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 do. Queuing up. And our first track didn't have anything on it. And there's where we hit stop, and we should see it uh, go back to uh, track one here in a second. Okay, so it shows there's two tracks in a total of 53 seconds on both tracks. Now, if you want to take a look at your disc, hit your eject button there, and you can turn your disc underneath, and you'll see the recorded part. You see it right there? That lighter stripe that I'm pointing at with my thumb there is the part that was burned onto the disc. And so the rest of the disc is actually blank. Okay? Now once you finalize the disc, you're done. You can't go back and add to the disc. But if you don't finalize it, you can actually eject the disc, put it back in later, and add tracks to it, which is kind of cool. So anyway, just a quick uh, overview of the CDR775. CD recorder from Philips and, uh, and how to make an analog recording onto a digital format. Hope you enjoyed it.